black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Okay, so Korean style corn corn doggos. There's no cornmeal in this at all, but same difference. We have basically a bread loaf baking pan here. 160 milliliters of warm water, right? One teaspoon active dry yeast, quarter cup, half of a half cup, basic math for you, sugar into that. And then we just work that for a little bit. We work that in, just get that uh, incorporated, we'll call that. Okay, to that mixture, we're adding in right now a cup of flour. I think we're gonna need probably a cup and a half, maybe two cups, but we try this first. What we're looking for is a sticky dough. Okay, so sticky dough achieved. We spread across the pan evenly, and we're gonna let this rise covered. Cover the dough, one hour. Okay, so we have our risen dough, as you can see. Jiggly, sticky. Now what we gotta do next is we have our skewered wiener and basically what we're going to want to do is try to get it to take in a tornado-esque fashion right we spin and get it to take i'm gonna be fully honest with you guys fully transparent this is very difficult this is not an easy task the batter itself has to be tempered perfectly temper meaning temperature it has to be perfect also the uh the viscosity the, the the liquid the moisture involved like it has to be perfect for it to stick right otherwise it droops off it doesn't stick enough or it's too sticky so this is not i'll tell you what this is not an easy dish this is very very challenging all right so we got our panko crusted in the freezer they got a little flat on one side we'll talk about that later but we got our dogs at 350, 360. All right, in my best attempt at these panko Korean dogs, I think we're doing all right. They're not the greatest. <laughs> There's a couple little flaws, but it's a first time trial. They do look good though. I'm ready to eat, I'm ready to crush, I'm ready to try. Oh, what up, what's good with y'all? This is a first time for me. Uh, brings me back to a, uh, a lunchroom classic a pogo uh, a corn dog now this isn't necessarily either any of those because a corn dog would involve corn meal things like that this is a kind of a different recipe it's a little more korean based with a panko breadcrumb it's a dough but it's not uh, a corn dog dough it's not the same as like a pogo or those things that you might have in the classroom back in the day. That said, though, you guys know that I love a good old hot dog. And this is a beef ballpark Frank hot dog with chips and dips and all these things. My first time attempting, more difficult than I expected. That said, talk about it a little bit. But I do want to indulge in this trial and error. So... This is a first time thing for me to try, right? Very texturally crazy. And there's some open pockets there because my ability to uh, execute on the proper dough didn't go exactly as planned. Oh, cling clang goes the bang and the engine, but still gonna be good. I know it's gonna be like legit to have this bite. So we'll have this and then we'll just discuss. Why did I? I haven't let, <laughs> I've been letting this cool down. Stop. Oh my God. Not gonna lie, I gotta inspect for myself. Yeah, mm. that was great. It was really good. It's really great. It's really amazing. 
here's the thing. Mmm. Super good. I've always loved a uh, a corn dog in ketchup, of course. And mustard is fire too, but for me, there's something about the uh, the dough. And the dog. And the sweetness. Okay, so. If we're going to talk about this a little bit. I've never made a homemade Corn dog. Now, corn dog doesn't usually have this texture. The Korean dogs having like the uh, chunks of fries. Sometimes the panko crumbs and Sugar. That all being considered. I understand why like a Korean dog with uh, these extra crunchy extra <laughs> crunchy considerations put them at like a top tier level of just like a next level eating experience because even in this like more basic simplistic form of, of the thing that <laughs> I didn't even know if I could recreate because to be honest with you the 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 tempering of the dough like and the exact um measurements of everything it was challenging a very uh a very more than obvious difficult task to create I would say this about attempting this recipe to make it absolutely immaculate and or perfect you have to be within a certain like milliliter of water and almost like a temperature of 
like the room that you're in even affects it. It's like, it's actually that crazy. It's like baking. And then, like I put these on a plate, right? So they're not perfectly cylindrical, round, <laughs> as another word, because like I needed them to firm up. But like I've seen videos where people just like they they wrap it around almost like cotton candy. They like, they wrap the uh, the dough around. perfectly and then they toss it into a fryer but that's people who are Well, A, they've perf perfected the recipe. And B, they sell them for like a living at like a carnival or wherever. That being said, though, for a random guy, they I. <laughs> They're amazing. I'm going to be honest with you. This is one of the hardest things for me to believe, but I do believe it as time goes on. dogs corn dogs anything to do with a uh, a wiener anybody who knows anything about How technically disturbing if you really knew what went on to make that you'd be like I'm never gonna eat one of those again I'll be honest with you. I don't want to know the truth. I don't know want. I don't want to know the answer. Ignorance is bliss. Because here's why: a great hot dog, a great fried corn dog, or anything like this. It's one of the best. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. It's one of the best tasting things ever. And what's even crazier is like you combine that with like bacon in like a hot dog or <laughs> like you took a hot dog and bacon and put it into one unit. Or you combine 
meat and pork in a burger. In your palate, it's like legitimately some of the best shit you'll ever taste. Doesn't really make sense how good it is. And in your head, you're like, I know it's kind of fucking. It's not that great. <laughs> right? Same time. It's like, it's so that great, though. <laughs> Super weird. Anyways, till the next guy. Till we eat some other shit that feels probably not that awesome, but is the most awesome ever. You know what to do. Eat good, live well. Have a whole bag of chips with your dips. And stay true. If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching, eat good, live well, and stay true.